taxi way so you can see ahead of you. Gets a camera through it coming in from the left. The DC3 on a top side pass. Hello, Dave Arnold. Welcome to the microphone, my friend. Good to have you back. Thank you, Roy. Good to be back. And you're with the... Delivered in early 1944, and uh, the airplane uh, actually comes by its D-Day stripes, honestly. It flew four sorties on D-Day, that was June 6, 1944, flew more than 700 hours. The legend aircraft from the, uh, from the United States of World War II, it could carry eight 50 caliber machine gun guns, made it great for air-to-air -air and especially for air-to-ground attack mode. And get this, it cost $96,000, which was more than any other. Back up on the west side of the aerobatic box, rolling up on the vertical. Kick around the relentless airplane, bump around. P-51B model of the Mustang uh, being flown today by Carter Teeters. The B model or this particular one uh, known as Impatient Fire. Centrifugal flow engine compressor. And you notice something, Ken? Not a breath of wind. No, not at all. Okay, let's see if he can get it on the truck uh, this time. Okay, he's got the mains on. Hours together outside the spacecraft and collected over 47 pounds of lunar material to bring back to Earth. Command module pilot Michael Collins flew the command module Columbia alone in lunar orbit. Yeah. <laughs> 